has lived in Taiwan for more than 15 years. Though born an American, he keeps saying that he's a Taiwanese, flesh and blood. Okay, basically, when I was in college, I studied.、Uh, officially, my major was political science, actually, but、uh, I specialized in international relations and this sort of thing, and especially in classes on Asia. And so I decided, well, okay, I would pursue the Asian aspect of this, and so I should go to Asia and spend some time there,、uh, travel around,、uh, maybe learn one of the languages, and so forth. So、uh, I ended up picking Taiwan, partly because I had originally decided I would learn Chinese, say, rather than learn Japanese. Okay. You first teach English in Taiwan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, I still teach. Uh, and you know, most of my income is still either from teaching or from editing or translating. Or kind of and he bears a special fondness for Taiwan's pop music. Our interview took us to his place, and his cabinets and floors are piled up with CDs, vinyl records, and books. When I listen to music, I don't just listen to it as background music. I want to know more about the background of the song or the, you know band. East、um, and that sort of thing. So I prefer to have sort of the historical context. You know. But Taiwanese music, there's not much. Okay, basically, no one's done a giant encyclopedia of Taiwanese popular music or anything like that. There are tons of these things for Western music, but for Taiwanese music, there are very few books that cover certain areas. And so the only way to find that out was maybe to find the original record or something like that. And so, at that time, I started to actually collect things like original records. When it comes to his music collection, Eric talked and poured his heart out like a small child. From Luo Dayou, Huang Shujun, Kei Huang, Sylvia Chang, and Tracy Huang, Eric knows about their songs like the back of his hand. Well, as as I mentioned. Early on, I listened to a lot of things like Fang Shuji and Luo Dayou. Now, Luo Dayou, especially a little bit older, so、uh, I think originally it was Luo Dayou and Tai Shan, these two songwriters.、Mm-hmm. I was trying to get some of their early,、uh, early compositions. You know, actually, for you know, for example, Luo Dayou actually his best music is the stuff he sang himself.、Uh, but you know, he wrote fairly good songs and quite famous songs for other people. So and.、Uh, And then after that, I started to, you know, other areas of music. Like I decided, okay, well, I want to have a sort of,、uh, you know, I want to get a sort of general overview of the popular music of Taiwan in different eras, and also not just Mandarin or even Holo, you know, but also say Hakka. Or Aboriginal music because I'd also listen to certain, you know, like Huda Fu, for example. I first heard maybe 12 years ago. Quite like to sing. I was like, okay, I want more of this kind of thing.、Um, I also occasionally go to some of the music festivals.、Uh, the reason I actually ended up coming、uh, for the first time two years ago was because、uh, my wife was working at the Taiwan Association for Human Rights. And、uh, they were invited to set up a booth by Freddie, who's、uh, the lead singer of Catonic, the,、uh, the, band, the death metal band.、Uh, he's one of the organizers, and basically, he wanted to give space at the festival to various organizations doing this sort of social, social work and such. I mean, I like the feel of playing records, but I'm not. I'm not one of those people who say uh, uh, I, I like. I like the, the record design, the designs of vinyl records, and so forth. And I do kind of like the feeling of you know, putting the thing down and so forth. And because of his collections, he's been dubbed as Taiwan's vinyl record expert, kind of turning chick, and became a local celeb. But Eric doesn't care too much about the title. Because he collects more than Taiwan's music records. Music is, of course, my main thing. I read a lot. Actually, that's the other thing. You know, I, basically, I buy two things: I buy music and books. 
when I came to Taiwan, is at first I didn't pay a lot of attention to local music, but after a couple of years, I started to listen to more, and I was like, well, you know, I should, uh, a little bit more content in my lyrics and so forth. So actually, I used that to also study the Chinese. You know. We talked about interviewing Eric in English, and he answered in authentic Mandarin Chinese, half jokingly. Are we speaking English then? But I speak better Chinese now. His Taiwanese wife, of course, gets the credit for his Chinese fluency. I took one semester of Chinese, so basic Chinese, basically. You know, it's sort of like your first first semester of junior high school. And we didn't in class. We didn't learn Jui, but we. Uh, I, I learned it from Taiwanese uh, students. Actually, I think I got a Taiwanese I knew in the United States to just give me a sort of chart to compare to. And uh, I, it doesn't take. So you know all those. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was that didn't take long. I mean, you know, once once you learn the basic sounds in Chinese, it's easy to learn that. So, uh, so when I came to Taiwan, it wasn't difficult to adjust. And、uh, yes, of course,、uh, you know,、uh, friends, girls, I went out with, you know, that sort of thing. I would also practice Chinese with them.、Uh, and so, yes, that also. Do you also, help? Of course. For me? Of course. So, if you want to learn English, that's good. <laughs> The first step. First step. <laughs>、okay. Eric not only thinks of himself as a native Taiwanese; he's the champion of the local energy. That he who listens to the wife will come to fame and riches. Particular, you know, say precise social and political issues where you know we may not agree entirely, but as far as general attitude and you know environment, you know, say driving or you know burning ghost money or that sort of thing. Actually, probably I'm more political than she is in some ways.、Like、yeah. <laughs> uh, or she'll support very small. Actually, I also try and. Uh, as much as I can, try and get people to you know, say, okay, well, you can try voting for the Green Party, for example. The Green Party, meaning the Green Party, not meaning say the DPP or TSC, those parties. I mean, there's a, there, Taiwan has a Green Party, for example, an environmental party,、uh, very small. <laughs> Haven't won any elections yet, but maybe if, maybe if Taiwanese really get tired of the big parties, they'll start voting for the Green Party. That would be good. Yeah, but she would be basically the same. And you influence each yes, other. Yes, yes, of course. I mean, we well, we've known each other for a very long time. So yes, we also. I'm sure that also is a factor. Yes,、uh, mutual influence.、So. Okay. <laughs> I mean, with 15 years or something like that. So. Though we didn't get to meet his wife, we were thrilled to personally witness Eric's treasure trove of Taiwanese vinyl records. As we cheered and hooted, Eric decided. To entertain us by playing a song he wrote, and the song was definitely worth the trip. Yeah, 你老婆有听过吗？ Yeah.